And this is what I'm going to decoupage. I picked this up, I think, at a yard sale. It was like 50 cents. I tucked it away because I wasn't really quite sure what I wanted to do with it. And it has so many angles on it. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a coat of my black homemade chalk paint over the whole um, container. I'm going to distress this after. So that's why I like to put the black paint as the base because when I distress it and sand it, the black will peek through and give it a little bit more of an aged look. The black chalk paint is all dry and now I'm going to put a coat of white chalk paint over the whole um, container. I have a really great homemade chalk paint recipe. I'll put the link for that below in the description. And after I've got this all painted and it's dried, I've taken a 120 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding around all of the edges. Okay, I have the dish all prepped and it's really intricate. So I thought I would do a tutorial to show you um, how you can decoupage on something that has lots of angles and little bits on it. Um, so this might not be a beginner project, but it's lots of fun to watch. And this is what you're going to need to decoupage. You're going to need some, I like to use my mod, my mat Mod Podge, a little bit of saran wrap, napkin that you love, and a little paintbrush. You want to make sure that you're only working with one ply of the napkin. So we're just going to take off the top sheet. I don't get rid of these. I like to make my own custom napkins and I also use them for cleanup. I'm going to start working on the lid first. So I want to cut a napkin just a little bit bigger than the lid size and I want to make sure that I have the flower centered in the middle. So I'm just going to cut it out. And then we're ready to decoupage. That looks good. Okay, we're just going to put just a light amount right to the very edges. The mistake that a lot of beginner decoupagers do is putting on too much Mod Podge. If you put too much on, it's gonna wrinkle and bubble for you really easy. So just put a light coat on right to the very edge. And then you're gonna pick up your napkin. You can't move the napkin after you've put it on. Put it exactly where you want it. Lightly press it down. I like using my saran wrap. And then just press it down to get all the wrinkles and bubbles out. And then I'm just gonna take my scissors and just kind of cut off some of that. I have a lot of extra there I don't need on. That's hanging off. And then once this is dry, then we will sand off all this extra around the edges and it'll look nice and neat and tidy. I'm gonna set the lid aside and let it dry and I'm gonna start working on these panels. Same thing, we're gonna cut out a piece of napkin. The size that we need and then just Mod Podge it on. These don't have to be perfectly cut out. You just want a smaller size so it's easier to work with. Here's a little trick if you have something that is kind of moving around on you. I love these little lint rollers. I use this with my Cricut. Stick it on your table and then stick your project on and it's not going to move on you. Paint on your Mod Podge right to the edge. Now I don't want my Mod Podge to hang over the edge of this so I'm just putting it right to the edge because I'm going to do it in panels. I'm going to press it down exactly where I want it. Get my saran wrap, press it down. That looks perfect. Now, before I do this one, I want to let this one dry. So I'm going to go on to this one here and then I'm just going to work away, away my way around. I've set this aside and I've let it dry. It's all dry completely. Um, now, before I sand off all these little edges, I like to put a top coat on. I don't like using Mod Podge as a top coat. Um, I find that it 
does introduce some bubbles and wrinkles a little bit easier than if I just use my polyacrylic sealer. So that's what I'm gonna use as a top coat. This one's a satin base. You can use whatever base you want. Make sure you're using a water-based um, polyacrylic sealer or your projects will yellow on you if you use an oil-based. I find if you try to sand these edges off before you put a top coat on, you can tear at the napkin. So by putting the top coat on and then sanding, you can have a cleaner edge. And I'm just gonna put the, top, the polyacrylic on the top of this. I'm doing this kind of in sections because I also wanna put the napkins on these, but I want to finish these panels first before I do the next one, or it's gonna to be too difficult to, um, to finish up. So. Less is more when you're putting on a top coat. If you put on too much, it's gonna bubble and wrinkle on you. So I just like to put a light coat right to the edge, set it aside, let it dry, and then we're gonna sand off the extra around the edge. Now it's completely dry and I'm taking my 120 grit sandpaper and I'm sanding off all of those extra edges and making it nice and neat and clean. I've got it all done and I think I want to decoupage I'm gonna leave this white but I think I want to decoupage these so that's what I'm gonna work on next I have this all sanded and ready for the panels to be done so let's get to work for these smaller pieces I want to make sure I cut out a piece of the flower to have on it um, so I'm just gonna go piece by piece this is kind of tedious but it's gonna look beautiful when it's done so we're just gonna get the Mod Podge again. Just put a little bit on that little panel. Press on your napkin exactly where you want it. Smooth out any wrinkles or bubbles. You can use a saran wrap if you want to help it along. And then I'm gonna do the same as what I did on the base. I'm gonna go every other let these dry and then add the next ones in. So I'm just gonna work away at that. Now I'm gonna add these panels on, same process. I've got them all done and I'm gonna set them aside, let them dry again, put the top coat on. All completely dry on those other panels. So now I'm gonna put the coat of polyacrylic sealer on those and then set it aside and let it dry. Few steps, but it's gonna be worth it in the end and it's gonna be beautiful. So every other one that I did this time putting a coat of the polyacrylic sealer, just a light coat. Remember, less is more when you're putting on a top coat because you don't want to introduce any bubbles and wrinkles. And then we're gonna set it aside and let it dry again. That one's done. I'll put the top coat on these ones. Okay, let's them dry. Nice and neat, and I've got these edges all finished. Now I'm ready to do these ones. All dry, let's do the last bit of sanding. One little tip when you're sanding is sand away from the project and that way you won't be pulling up the napkin in case there's a little bit that didn't adhere very well. And I try to, try to just to pull it that way and it'll prevent that. And see how I'm going this way on this one. And it just pulls that napkin right away and leaves a really nice finished edge. You have to be a little bit patient. 
but I'll show you. See how nice of an edge that gives? I'm just going in now and just touching up the inside a little bit with uh, the black chalk paint. When I was doing all that sanding, it kind of, kind of pooled a little bit along the edges. So I just wanted to clean it up a little bit and put another coat on and it just makes it look a little bit nicer and a little bit more finished. And I'm gonna do the same with the lid too. Put another coat all along the top. I'm not gonna worry about the edges because I wanna keep them kind of that distressed look but I just wanna neaten up the paint in the middle. And now you can see why I wanted to paint the black on the um, first layer, because when you sand, it peeks through that black and it kind of gives it that antique kind of old look, which I love. I know it's not for everybody, but I really love the rustic look. And um, by doing that base coat black, it just gives it that extra little touch. Now I have this all finished, but I have something that I like to do with projects that I use all the time. I'm, this is going to be mine. I'm gonna keep my rings and earrings in it and I wanna seal it really well. So what I like to use is this premium automotive acrylic enamel. It seals it up rock hard so you can wipe it, you can dust it. It almost makes it waterproof um, and I love using it. So this is a gloss formula and I kinda wanna have this have a really glossy sheen to it too. You can find this in automotive stores. Um, I'm in Canada, we have a store called Canadian Tire. You can find it in there. Or you can sometimes find it even on Amazon. I'll put a link down below and you can check out that link. So I'm gonna take this outside and I'm gonna spray it with this acrylic enamel. I am going to finish it off with this little knob I had in my stash and I think it matches beautiful. I'm using some E6000 to glue it on the top. We're going to let it dry and I'll show you the finished project. This might be one of my favorite decoupage projects that I've ever done. I found the napkins at HomeSense. I absolutely love them. I love the way it's rustic and chippy. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I hope I've given you some tips and tricks to help you along while you're learning how to decoupage. And if you liked this video, you'll love this one. Thanks for watching. Take care and have a great day.